Cookie's here, but turn 55, and we finally caught up to my current turn. It's about an hour before the turn rolls, and we see a dire portent, so we'll see what Hellheim's thrown up. We also did Streams from Hades, we got a Watcher and a Storm Demon. We found a Garden of Bones and Enchanted Tomb, so we pulled off two more Death Gems. Blood Economy has gotten a little bit better, so we're now up to 90 like 125 ish um got some water gems and we're continuing to blood hunt um we've got some unrest issues here so trying to patrol those down uh, continuing to blood hunt here we're getting a couple of revenants and this is to help with um site searching and research and um, just need more undead leadership in the area as well just a number of reasons um we moved some eagles down here and i thought i could fail them but i couldn't i think i mentioned that in one of the previous turns I should probably move out some of these guys. We're up to near 200 units, so this is a large overcommitment for the capital. This mage is finally moving out. Uh, this mage is twice warning before moving out. And we're getting some Boots of Youth, more Dragon Helmets, Burning Pearls. You can see the Thug lineup is... So the goal here is to have the thug kits up to here, uh, just complete kits, so I can do, what is that, eight fully geared thugs. And if they die, I won't know what to do against Hella. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I can assemble these full kits and then like, let me just have random other stuff. But I'm hoping this is a good kit for... Well, I'm getting the frost brand with the cold aura, vine shield, morale helmet, copper plate for charged body, and 25 chakras to stop those thunder strikes, burning pearl, and ring of the warrior for attack and a little bit more morale. So that'd be plus seven morale. So that's kind of the idea there. And doing a little bit of a research push, maybe. Not doing anything with my pretender. Maybe I should be. But I got 2,200 research points coming in. So should pick up Enchant 7 this turn, which again gives uh, Serpent's Blessing, the potential for Gift of Health, Carry and Reanimation. Um, mass Flight. Um, additionally, um, I don't know if I've been checking these Vanna Droughts every bracket. I don't think so, but uh, newsflash, still no error random. So going to see what we get in an hour when the turn rolls. Hopefully it's an error random. And yeah, I think that's it. So not a heck of a lot going on. Um, maybe I should do Blood 8 and Alt 8 and then do Blood 9. Um, but I really liked the idea of doing Blood 8 and then getting Blood 9 and mass producing Storm Demons. So, because Dark Skies just went up, so I'm not going to be able to attack Helheim and take territory, probably, until that uh, global goes down. So, I don't know, maybe I can negotiate with uh, Abyssia to like take it over if Helheim attacks us both. Uh, meanwhile, Abyssia's got another large army here. Terracotta soldiers, Burning Ones, Abyssian infantry to move in and help with this uh, board assault. Along with, uh, I think this is a Holy Three, and maybe I can get here. And hopefully between this whole army maybe they can take it 
Uh, Helheim's also gotten a little impatient, so they've moved up and expanded our borders. So maybe I should have moved into these. I don't know. Um, so Helheim's got all this stuff, which probably should have been Abyssia's if they uh, ran a little bit smoother campaign. But Abyssia probably thought they were going to get more help from myself and Helheim against Ubar, but we were so busy vulturing Caleb and from Waria, I don't think we helped much. So it's a little bit more of a 1v1. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So we've got this Earth King with a Shade Mail, which is kind of neat. I am considering having this one do a bishop fish maybe that's not the worst idea but i think all my hammers are busy this turn so maybe i'll do it next turn when i get some more gems okay so yeah i think i'll do that when the turn rolls i might start picking up those bishop fish just on the off chance that maybe I can sneak out a win. Uh, this fort got a little bit more garrisoned, probably because these guys are here. Um, I should probably move these eagles so he doesn't... Maybe he'll move his stuff out of that. So if I move... If I move the eagles somewhere else, like here, maybe I can blood hunt here instead. I was thinking about having a safer blood hunting operation. So, <laughs> probably nerve wracking to Abyssia to have all these forts along the border and then like these large garrisons, but oh well. I have large garrisons on the Helheim border as well. So, hopefully, it doesn't get too nervous. And yeah, I'll see you in the next turn where hopefully we get to see the. Big Abyssia assault into Ubar. Looks like Ubar's got one more province, so hopefully someone will take this province and Ubar can finally die. Honestly, it's two candles. I would seriously consider just loading priests into this and preaching this down and killing Ubar that way rather than assaulting, but you've already basically done that. But Alrighty, um, I think that's it, and I will see you in the next one, turn 56.